How's it going YouTube? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Adidas Trim Star Size Exclusive in the Steve Zizou colorway. First off, I want to give a huge thank you over to Size Canada for sending me over this pair. And this colorway of the Adidas Trim Star was exclusively released at Size earlier this month. And the colorway for this shoe, for those of you guys who aren't aware, is based off of the shoe worn by title character Steve Zizou in the cult classic movie The Life Aquatic of Steve Zizou. So this film, which released back in 2004, didn't get the best of reviews and it honestly didn't do the best in the box office. But since its initial theatrical release, it's gotten a bit of a cult following and the movie is now viewed much more positively in today's light. So the title character, which was played by Bill Murray, he wore a pair of Adidas Roms, which were done in the same colorway, but this time it's adopted on this retro Adidas silhouette, the Adidas Trim Star. So this pair retailed for a price of 130 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 105 USD. And the official colorway for this shoe is footwear white, bold blue, and light blue. And I want to point out to you guys, if you guys didn't notice, I'm trying my best to recreate the Steve Zizou look. And I guess this sort of counts with my red cap, and I guess you can call this a light blue button up. Anyways though, diving straight into the details. So the upper of the shoe is constructed using a very, very soft white colored tumbled leather. Overlaid on the front toe cap, we have this hit of this off-white or cream-colored suede, which feels pretty soft to the touch. This white leather covers the eyelets of the shoe, and the eyelets themselves is what Adidas calls a ghillie speed lacing system, which are constructed out of these white-colored plastic semicircles. Intertwining through these eyelets, we have these yellow-colored flat laces, which gives a perfect contrast compared to the white and blue-colored tones. And then underneath this, we have a thin leather tongue, which is constructed out of that same very soft tumbled leather that we saw earlier on the upper of the shoe. On the mid panel of both sides of the sneaker, we have the signature Adidas three stripes, with the outer two stripes done in this dark blue color, and the middle stripe done in a lighter shade of blue. And then moving downwards, we have more of that very soft white colored leather, and then pressed on in this metallic gold finish, we have Adidas Trim Star branding. Moving on, we have more of this white leather which wraps around the back heel, and above this we have this dark blue colored nubuck, which finishes off the design of the upper. The inner liner of the shoe is lined in a very soft, smooth white leather, and then for the insoles, these come with a foam padded insole with Adidas branding found throughout. And if I flip the insole over to the other side, you'll see there's additional foam support underneath the arches, which is an option we've seen before in other retro sneakers like the original Air Max 90s. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this solid gum rubber outsole, and in the middle of the outsole we have Adidas branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these trim stars. And for those wondering how these fit, so to me I feel like they do run true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Size Canada sent me this pair in a size 10, and to me, they fit me great. Moving on to comfort. So honestly, this shoe is pretty lacking from a comfort standpoint. Unlike a lot of modern day sneakers, the upper of the shoe pretty much sits directly on top of the rubber outsole. And the only comfort you're feeling is coming from that foam padded insole. So with that said, this shoe feels very, very low to the ground. It's very stable and stiff. But the one thing I liked is that the upper materials felt very soft and very, very broken in already. So it feels like a shoe that you've had for decades in your collection, even though this is a brand new release. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship on this pair, so this is where the shoe really shined. I love the materials on this pair. I thought especially the white leather was very, very soft and high quality. And the overall construction and craftsmanship on this pair, I thought it was flawless. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. While I'm not personally a huge fan of the look and the design of the Trim Star, I think if you're a fan of retro Adidas sneakers, or if you're just a fan of the Life Aquatic movie, then this shoe should satisfy both of those crowds. The quality and the craftsmanship on this pair was great, and I love the colors on this shoe as well. I think the white with the different shades of blue accented with this pop of yellow, it just fits together perfectly and it'll look great especially in the summer season. So if you guys are interested in picking these up, these are still available on Size's website, so don't hesitate and don't wait too long if you guys are looking to grab a pair. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, 
Check me out on Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website as well at SeanGo.ca. And before I end this video, another huge thank you goes out to Size Canada for sending me over this pair. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.